I thought I'd show you in this video how I manage my spasms when I go beyond what I consider is my normal baseline. And there are several things that can get me beyond my normal baseline. Um, getting too cold will do it. Um, being under stress, fighting an illness, a UTI, a uh, pressure sore, uh, hormones in the time of the month are a big trigger for me. Um, having a big day of activity where I've just been in my wheelchair all day long. Um, maybe I've traveled and been in a car in one position for a long time, or I've been in my one of my wheelchairs without just being going, going, going and never having an opportunity to lay down. Just different things like that can, I know, I absolutely know are going to be triggers for spasms. Um, so I thought on this video, we I would show you how I manage that. Now, if you were around me, I would probably say, hey, y'all, I probably need, I'm just going to go lay down for about 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> and that's probably what you're going to hear me say, which is fine. But this is what happens behind the scenes when I need to go lay down for 20 or 30 minutes. And this is how I keep my spasms from getting too wild. And this is necessary for me. I have learned, I'm almost 12 years out now, and I have learned if I don't do this, um, it can make for some really erratic body movements. Like my back can arch into a spasm, it can throw me out of my chair. My legs will kick out violently in front of me into a wall or cabinet and um, you can break a toe, you can... Um, I've got some really nasty bruises and cuts before, so I just know I don't really want it to go there, and I'm not ashamed of my spasms because I can't help them, but I would say that they are embarrassing to me when something is that dramatic, and I would rather not have that happen in public, so I go off, lay down, get it over with, do what I need to do to get my body um, back to my normal baseline, so here's what happens. First thing is I get real jittery all over. I can feel it literally from my shoulders down. Um, and it feels like inside like there's a buzzing and a, a pulsating shock that all happens at once. Like if you ever used a TENS unit on you. Um, it feels that way from literally my like the top of my shoulders all down through my body. I can normally see it in my legs. Um, and it's not just like when I drop my feet or position and I, and I have a clonus or something. This is a nonstop... Um, jitter that happens for about five or ten minutes that I can feel and a lot of times I can see and I know it's coming. So trying to get transferred is um you know I'm able to get over pretty easy um because I'm, I'm stiff so somehow sometimes it makes it easier to swing my body over at that time. Getting my legs um up on the bed they're already um jumping and gonna fight me. I get really really tight um in my hip sockets um my pelvic my knees my all the muscles in my legs, my hamstrings, um, all the tendons kind of on the inside of my legs, everything just, I, I just, it all fights against me. So it's really um, stiff. And of course, that's right when I lay back. Um, they'll always be really dramatic when I first lay back. And I'm always hoping at that point, we can just get it out right there. And sometimes if I just rest for a little bit, um, it'll hold there. Um, that is not holding still. I'm in a full-blown lockout right there. From my shoulders down, everything is extremely, extremely stiff as can be. Um, my knees are locked. My hips are locked. My feet are pointed straight down. Um, it's uh, really painful when it does that. When it's like a non-stop Charlie horse inside, and I really um, can't get it to quit. Normally, it will slow down in my upper body first. And I'm able to, if I can get my knees bent out of that position, and that is where if somebody's with me, I will be saying, can you just try to get my knee to push up to my chest? Can you just get my knee to push up to my chest? And I'm telling you, sometimes you have to be a bodybuilder. Um, it shocks me how strong my legs are. I'm like, why will you not work? Because um, they can get really strong when I don't want them to. Uh, but when I want them to, they just won't do it for me. So anyway, I'm trying to get it to calm down right here enough that I can sit up. Uh, I'll try the next thing to put a pillow under my knees to hopefully stop them from being able to lock back out. And I'm trying to sit up right there and get my own knee up and it's slowing down. So now I'm going to try to get that pillow underneath my knees if I can get my hips to release enough to let me get my legs up. Um, and they want to always kick back and fight me.
when they get so tight, I really have to fight against it. My arms just aren't strong, and anytime I have to really pressure my arms, uh, my hands spasm really bad. But I finally got it. I can't really get that pillow. So at this point, um, I'm trying to get my legs to lay out sort of in a frog position. Um, if I could get my, almost if you could get your heels to touch and get my knees to fall out to the side, which they will do normally when I'm in my baseline floppier mode. But um, that is what I'm attempting to do right now. Because if I can get them to do that, it really um, will relax those hip flexors. That's why I'm kind of pushing trying to um get them to lay down but that's not where not gonna work this time and so my legs are um kind of straight up with my knees in the air and that is all spasm um they will not relax um i don't know what you call those little tendons kind of inside um you can see it quivering jumping um and i just try to lay really still hoping it'll just be done. Um, this particular day, it it will not. So a lot of times it doesn't move all the way up. It kind of starts in my legs, and you can see it's hitting my core now, and my stomach's spasming and jumping. And um, I'm hoping I can get it just to be done there. And like I say, different times, uh, I never really 100% know how my body's going to react. Um, nine times out of ten, it gets this far, but there have been times that it's not as bad. I can just kind of get these part out and it's not moving up, but I, I can tell already that it's, it's gonna, it's gonna move out and I'm going to try to make some adjustments and hope it won't, but my core's is too uh, spasmy already. So I know that's probably bad news for me. I can tell that the spasms are about to really take over on my upper body too, which is extremely um I do not like it you can see my hand already jerky there I'm trying one last time to get those legs to frog out because I do not want it to go there but it's going to um I, I really hate my upper body spasms because I just feel so out of control um and and I just can't get them my legs will not go they're trying you can see them kicking back and fighting me um and jumping back so I, I really can't make them. I can't get them to go. And um, I just cut out some of that because I fought it for a little while trying to get it over. And so I'm just kind of waiting. I can feel it moving up into my core. I can feel it getting really jumpy. And, um, and there we go. And what's happening there is, I don't know if you can see my butt lifting off the bed, but it mashes my feet. It's like my thigh muscles really overactivate. Smashing my feet down in the bed. It lifts me straight up um, off the bed, even from my shoulders, and really pulls my back in. It's uh, terribly painful. I don't really know how to describe it, except a, I guess a Charlie horse that you cannot um, get to go away. I'm, you can see my, I really have very little control because my triceps, biceps, shoulder muscles, everything's kicking in, trying to work at the same time. So me just trying to maneuver against that is pretty vain uh, attempts. I kind of wanted to get that pillow moved out of the way, hoping it would calm it down. Um, I just try to get my arms in a position that will calm them down. Um, sometimes I push my palm of my hand into my leg like that. It slows my spasm down. It'll slow clonus down on my legs if they're jumpy to just push into them. So I've kind of learned I can get my arms to calm down a little bit, and then I just kind of keep trying to reposition them to... Uh, do anything I can to get that to ease up because it's it's very you can see my left arm spasming up uh it's, it's terribly painful And then they just sort of uh, stop. Um, it's 
like it gets it all out. There'll be some residual jerks and movements. Um, when it's done, I'm absolutely completely drained. Uh, it kind of works back down um, into my legs. Once I know my legs start going a little bit, I, I kind of know it kind of works. It's like it starts in my legs, works all the way up, and then it kind of ends with my legs. And I'll have a, you know, it's like it slows down. I have a little jerk every now and then. Um, but by this point, I just try to lay really still. Um, I don't want any sudden upper body movements that may start anything up again. Um, sometimes it will start all over. Sometimes really bad mornings, it just cycles over and over and over. Um, when that's going on, it's impossible, impossible by myself. I cannot reposition. I cannot do anything. So it's kind of a wait and see. I'm normally so wrung out that um, you can see like there's some residual, it's almost like a wave of spasms that work back up, up through my chest and stuff. Um, but then it kind of holds still. And I just, I just lay there and most of the time I doze off and go to sleep. Um, I just try to hold really still and I'm absolutely exhausted. It takes everything out of me. So if I, if I go to sleep, if my body will hold still and let me, I'll try to catch 15 minutes even and sort of let it reset me neurologically. So I edited out about 15 minutes there of me sleeping that you didn't need to see. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of waking up again and slowly maneuvering things to make sure that everything is pretty much back to normal. That's pretty, uh, it's getting back to much more of a baseline for me right there. Um, I just want to test everything. I really don't want anything to get triggered again. Just trying to move really slow and uh, make sure I'm really as loose and okay as I think I am. Um, at this point, I am burning from my neck down. Um, it always feels like someone has completely sanded me raw uh, with sandpaper, and I just am literally burning, and I will burn like that probably for the next four hours or so. Um, but I can tell I can tell the jitter, that jittery, that um, little zappy um, feeling that I start feeling when I know they're coming on is gone. And now it's just the burn, which is also pretty classic. So I'm just moving, making sure I can um, not go back into spasm upper body. And then I'm going to attempt a rollover. Um, and at that point, I'm going to try to get myself set up. Uh, actually, the fact that I, I am able to get up um, pretty easy now and get up on my elbow. I got a rail over on the side of the bed you can't see that um, I hang on to and is able to help keep my balance. Um, I can already tell my hip joint is much looser. Um, my leg isn't fighting me there. It's just hung on that pillow, my pant leg and my sock. It's, it's, it gets stuck sometimes, but it's not smooth. And that leg, I can already tell, is... Um, much looser. You can kind of back to my floppy um, baseline uh, for the most part, really, right there. Just trying to get myself the rest of the way up and get balanced, pushing off that rail. Um, I have a hard time pushing off my left arm. It's much weaker than my right. I'm just trying to get centered, sit back up, and um, my legs are are very loose again, so it's all out, it's done. Um, that whole process took about 45 minutes, probably. Um, it's a long video, but I try to cut out as much as possible. That's my normal hand, uh, really, right there. So we are back at baseline um, and ready to transfer and go on. I appreciate you watching, and I hope maybe um, this would help you manage your spasms at some point, that I think it's important that um, everybody has to learn their own system. But if me putting this out there helps anybody, um, maybe to ease up their daily spasms by just having a timeout, then I hope it'll help somebody. So thanks for watching.